Sorry, I keep going. Oh, no, you no. make complete sense. Okay, good. I mean, or were you lying all the time? Okay, good, 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 good. It's fine, it's fine. Definitely. You also dreamt of Coldplay. Uh, <laughs> so you'll have a big Chris Martin tattoo somewhere? <laughs> right, I actually have one. It's just here. Yeah, are you talking about my tweet? Yeah, I love those tweets. We'll get back to those. Because, okay. I mean, I, I loved all your tweets. That was very funny. Do or not uh, let go. I love that song too. Yeah, that song is about, um, it's about beauty. And, and being insecure? Yeah. It goes a little far. I mean, it goes like, the, at the end I wrote on the lyrics... I don't know how uh, how someone so uh, lovely makes me feel ugly and uh, feel so much shame, so much pain. Right. Well, um, that is that song was about um, somebody that I I don't know, like I dated a model, um, and it was really confusing because, like, I don't know. I just I've I've never really th had much of a relationship with like aesthetics or anything. Like you know, you have. You have a face and some eyes and nose and legs. You know, you look like a human-shaped mammal. That's good, but um, in that was it. Right. Well, well <laughs> most people like I don't kind of go mm, four, eight, ten. Like you know, and like no one fucking does that. But this, but this, but this guy. You know, he was a mo like a model, and I, it was really weird. Like people would freak out around him, and he had all this extra sort of currency that I'd never even experienced before never seen it and so yeah that song was kind of my way of you know dealing with it so you moved on certainly yes did it make you stronger actually did it make you realize that I am who I am and whatever yeah I mean I think that the things that make somebody wonderful are the exact same things that make them shitty when they're shitty right like the reason that someone is really fun at a dinner you know party is the same reason that they're really annoying on a long drive you know what I mean And the thing that I'm, like, really good at is being, like, psychologically flexible and moving into different realities of, you know, people. But the bad thing about that is that I forget who I am sometimes or at least I need to remind myself. And, yeah, with this, with this guy, I was like, oh, well, this is clearly what's normal and I'm not normal, you know. Um, but, yeah, then I figured it out and went through it and it's fine. I love the music as well, uh, very 80 pop, of mm -hmm. course. Um, uh, who are you? I love the beat there, the distorted beat. Mm -hmm. uh, why and how? Um, it's that all the drums on the record were played by Stella um, Mosgawa, and she's in um, War Paint. You know that band? And she's like, I mean, she's my favorite drummer, like hands down. Um, and she. She, uh, yeah, she just, she really, um, you know, like we had a bit of a beat, dum, dum, da, dum, dum, da, and like just, you know, like dodgy demos. But then, yeah, she came into the studio and just smashed the living shit out of everything. Um, and then, yet, um, she, she, I mean, I feel like she really gave the record its heartbeat. And um, I, I mean, like, like a lot of the decisions rhythmically and percussively were hers. So, I can't, you know, I can't I take the, the credit for them. But, yeah, she's fucking amazing. Get to the fun bit. Your Twitter feed, which is incredibly funny. <laughs> Wrote a melody in my sleep, thought I was a genius, but it was Coldplay. Right. So, so you wrote Yellow. No, you know what it was? It was um, La, Vi La Vida. Right? Yeah, I was I was in bed. I was like asleep and I had this and I was like that is fucking great. And I woke up and I I always voice memo things in my sleep, which is really funny because you, you yeah, because you hear them the next morning and half and half the time it's like ah, like it's just nothing, right? But, but you know, but I feel like over the years I've gotten good at waking up just enough to kind of make sure it's right. Yeah, and then I sang it, and then the next morning I went to the piano and went, huh. oh, it's Chris Martin. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. Did you actually write some good stuff when you were sleeping? I have written, actually, yes, I have written some stuff. Because I feel like the best things that you write are things where you go, is that already something? It sounds familiar. And if it's not something else, then it's good. Because every, because everybody else will feel like that too. Like, oh, I think I know that, but they don't. Because it's you. You made it up, um, and then wrote it down. Um, but yeah, no, I, I I have written some things like that. But I always think 
Like, you always have to check because sometimes you do steal. Next week, I am my own favorite singer. Right. I was doing press um, in Australia and that someone asked me two things that I hate. The first one is, so what can audiences expect from your show? Fucking, <laughs> fucking fuck. 30-year-old female mammal on stage. I don't know. Like, what? What do you mean? Like, I'm going to sing some songs. We're going to hang out. Like, I might drink a beer. Like, you know what I mean? That I hate. And also, so who's your inspiration? Who's your favorite singer at the moment? And I just, me. (laughs) Me, I am. Good call. Another thing, if I was a unicorn, I would stab things with my head. Wouldn't you? I feel like there's not enough unicorn. What if it would break? Well, it depends what you stabbed. Like, you're not going to. What would you stab? Like annoying journalists. Exes. <laughs> annoying journalists. Oh my God. Not you. Um, no, I would. I don't know. I just feel like there's not enough unicorns. Like st- unicorns as weapons in history. I feel like they you, should be more aggressive. Yeah, I feel like we should. You like you have a spike on. It's like a bayonet. Like ten points to Gryffindor. Right. Ten points to. Fuck. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Please don't ask. What can fans expect from? Right, dot, dot, that's, dot, dot. that's the thing that, that I talked about. So a lot of interviews are really shitty? No, it's just, I just feel like it's sort of a natural question sometimes. Like, so, new album, what can we expect? And it's like, well, expect the unexpected. <laughs> no, you know, it's so hard to answer. And I always feel like somehow that's kind of your job, right? Like, it's that, that not you, but that's the that's the. I'm doing my best. You're doing a great job, um, but I'm just waiting for you to ask me that now. Um, no, you know when you, you know when when you know someone's like, so what can we expect from the new album? It's like, well, listen to it and then let me know. You uh, just moved to Berlin from yeah. London, I think. Yeah. Well, why? Yeah, well, you found a man. Uh, Is it a German? I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> Talk about it. To be honest with you, um, I've sort of moved there because I love it. And um, I would like, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to write my next record. In Berlin? Yes. Nice. Well, because all my favorite songwriters have had a Berlin, you know, chunk. Period. Yes. And Bowie. Lou Reed. Um, so, yeah. I, Rufus Wainwright. sing for shit. Rufus Wainwright. I know. I know. Well, yeah. I... I, I don't know. I it's Demmer. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I'm just sort of, yeah, I'm just going to... It's a romantic thing, but you also met a guy and this is a keeper, right? Well, it's all a bit romantic. Like, the city is romantic. The idea of riding there is romantic. I feel romantic right now. It's, you know, it's a very it's a very squishy time. I'm looking forward to a new romantic record. Are you writing songs? I am. I, I so. am writing songs, yeah. We will see. So it will be Berlin and the new romantics. Right, that's actually not a bad... I'll keep that, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks so much for your time. That's on film now, you know I've got that forever. You can have it. <laughs> we'll do something well with it. <laughs> thank you very much. I'm sure you will. Hey, uh, finally, finally, you're, you've played with Dotan here in Holland, which yeah. is like he's a world star here, he's so famous, you can't yeah. believe it. Um, how did that happen and will you play again? Well, I was fortunate enough to be asked to go on tour with him when he did his last European tour. Um and yeah, I mean, it was fantastic. We got to watch his show um, every night. And he, you know, he really, uh, I feel like he really, um, you know, uh, what's the word, has earned or like uh, deserves his incredible success because he his show was just perfect every night. Um, and yeah, I mean, I don't know like where he is. Is he back in, I have no idea. Probably not, yeah. Yeah, but um, I'll, I'll text him. <laughs> But for you, are you, are you touring now in Europe? Are you playing gigs? No, we'll do some shows in a few months, I think. But Sweet. yeah, um, I'm just, yeah, head down, that sort of thing. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.